We are trying to bring you as much analysis as possible uh, from what we know and the information that is trickling in. Uh, Dr. Alex Del Carmen heads up the uh, School of Criminology, Criminal Justice and Strategic Studies at Tarleton State University in Fort Worth, Texas. I uh, want to welcome him into our coverage. Uh, Dr. Del Carmen, uh, I appreciate you joining us. First of all, as you uh, come into this, uh, as we are trying to get as much information as possible, what are you hearing and what are you cleaning from it? So first of all, thank you for, for asking me to join the program. Uh, what we are hearing right now is that the information is, is extremely uh, patchy. It is, it is widespread. And so our, uh, we, are, we are simply on, on a waiting mode at this point before we learn more about the nature of the attack. But all indication is that this is a, a ISIS-related uh, event. Dr. Alex Del Carmen of uh, the School of Criminology, uh, is there any kind of indication uh, that uh, we are expecting this or expecting a claim of responsibility from a terrorist organization, or is it still too early to say at this point? I think I think based on previous attacks, what we what we typically see is that ISIS uh, comes in within 24 to 48 hours after the attacks and, and claims responsibility. But on, on our end, what we typically analyze is the modus operandi, the way the attack is launched, uh, the nature of the targets, and, and this looks awfully close to the previous attacks, uh, you know, at, at the airports uh, in various parts of the world by it, ISIS. It is the Ataturk Airport in Istanbul, Turkey, from your knowledge, is is it a, a is it a more vulnerable target than most airports? Uh, what do you know about that, or or is there much you can say about that? So, so what we can say is that all airports are, are typically uh, targets, and, and it varies by, by virtue of, of how they're going to penetrate the target and the methods that they use. Uh, however, in this particular case, I don't think the Turkish airport is uh, any more secure than, than other airports that we've seen in Europe uh, and other parts of the, of the U.S. So unfortunately, the vulnerability index is rather high. Uh, perhaps one thing to consider is that Turkey has been a strategic partner to the United States, and by virtue of that, uh, we know that, that, that they are, in fact, a vulnerable target uh, by virtue of their attacks on ISIS, as you have been reported, reporting, and, and the fact that they are loyal uh, to the United States in our mission to, to get rid of ISIS throughout the world. That's Dr. Alex Del Carmen, a criminology expert at Charlton State University in Fort Worth, Texas.